Run fits are a pretty complex topic. A lot of coaches don't even really understand it. What we're looking at with run fits is we're basically trying to take whatever the offense is doing and fit our defense into them, kind of like pieces of a puzzle. We know that these guys aren't going to stay where they're at. What a lot of people mistakenly do, especially a lot of young football players think, is that they should run around the blocks. Well, if you run around the blocks, then you're effectively blocking yourself because you're running out of the area that the offensive blocker wanted you to get out of. Instead, we have to fit the run, which means we actually have to attack the blockers, but we have to attack them in a very precise way. So what we're looking at here is a very simple, this would be a zone replay, but we're actually going to cut out the read part of it. We'll just assume that it's a give. We've got our zone blockers up front. Everybody is zone blocking to their left for the offensive lineman. So for our defense, this play is being run to the right. We're looking here at that 3-4 defense that Oregon runs, and we've got just a zone run to the right. So very simplified. We kind of put all the receivers out of here so we can focus in right here. On a run to the right, our force player right now is going to be our outside linebacker, our sandbacker for our purposes. That sandbacker is going to be the one responsible for force. The strong safety is the alley. If the sand were to get blocked inside, the strong safety would replace him. If the sand fits it and forces it, the alley player would fit inside. But what we're going to be concerned about are these inside guys, which are the spill players, forcing the ball to move to the outside. How do they do that? In order to spill the football, your job as a defensive player, defensive linemen and linebackers are usually the spill players, is to fit the inside half of your gap responsibility. So it's not just having a gap responsibility, it's actually knowing how to fit the blockers into your gap and where your hips in particular are going to go. It's not your hat as much as it is your hips. As long as your hips are in the gap, then you have control of it. So for our defensive linemen up front, when they see the zone block to the right, that tells the nose guard that he's responsible now for this A gap to the right, but not just anywhere in it. He's responsible for the inside half. So he wants to fit and control the inside half of the gap. As long as he shows color, meaning he shows his color jersey, the color that the, the running back thinks, thinks is the bad guy, as long as he shows color in that gap, the running back will continue to spill to the outside, which is what we want. The defensive end is going to be fitting inside half of his gap to the outside. Our linebacker is going to be responsible for fitting the inside half of his gap, B gap, Defensive end, C gap, and then our force player coming down to force the play and turn it back inside. Our backside guys are responsible, again, inside half of the gap, inside half of the gap. And then once they get their gap secured and they force the ball to spill to the outside, now they're in a pursuit or chase mode where they're going to chase it down. And when that back has to cut back, they'll be there to make the tackle. That's why you see a lot of backside guys making the tackle, even though the ball wasn't run at them, because they continue to pursue and chase down the line of scrimmage after the play seems to have gone away from them. Do your job, control your gap, inside half of your gap, and then get going. Now get moving.